Hi there, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and in this video I'm going to show you two new uh, Easter themed products. The first one here is called um, Easter Egg Wreath and similar to the Circle of Love from the Valentine's um, collection, it's um, well, it's it's what it's called. It's a wreath of Easter eggs. And I am trying to keep these together so um, it's easy to glue them on on a on a background, which um, I'm going to fussy cap fussy cut out at the like the uh, all around it. I wasn't sure at this point if I wanted to um, fussy cut out uh, the middle as well or um, you know you could also just add some uh, color because if, if you look at the die um, the middle of it has a um, it has a sentiment so you could use it with that or you could use it with another sentiment um, however you like but you could add that middle part from a different color um, so for now I'm just keeping it I, I wasn't sure what I want to do but for my background I chose um, kind of a slightly peach uh, color and then I chose a bunch of colors um, for the eggs that are that remind me of um, Easter kind of typical pastel Easter color except for orange that I don't have here. And then I'm um, trying to figure out what I uh, want to achieve here. Firstly, I wanted to use the same color for the, the flowers, just yellow, but then I changed my mind and I kind of added yellow eggs as well and a mix of other colors for the flowers. I just preferred the look that way and then I decided to keep that middle part you could fussy cut it out and then just have a wreath and then uh, do some other looks but I just went with this and then I'm um, attaching this to my card front this card base is um, the um, four and a quarter by five and a half inches and this die uh, here, Frohe Osten is a German uh, version of the Happy Easter die. These, both of them are from last year, but I'm using them in um, in my new videos because, first of all, I still have some, and um, I I like to use die cut sentiments instead of stamped ones. I don't even know if I have any stamps that have. Easter themed sentiments in them. I'm not sure, but I I haven't stamped in so long. Um, yeah, I just prefer die cutting. So I pulled out some old uh, products as well. And then I am going to add this to the middle of my um, wreath. So basically I'm not using the sentiment that it comes with, which uh, is Happy Easter. And you will see it on, on other products uh, or other projects. And here's an example I mentioned in the numbers background video, uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing with the white layer of die cut. So I basically am keeping that, um, as a template for where I have to um, add my colors, you know, um, because, well, you don't need to do that, but at, this helps me to know where to place my first die cut and, you know, to cover that egg pro uh, the, the right way, if that makes any sense. I don't know how to explain this. I just make it a lot more complicated than it should be. But I hope you understand what I meant by that. And now um, this one is called Stylish Eggs, this die set. And then you can create a color block egg and you can create a sing single color egg. And then there is these two flowers that you can add as a decoration. 
so I'm just trying to place my flowers uh, in a different way on all of them. And in the end, I'm going to create a slimline card uh, and also a standard uh, A2 size card with them. And again, I'm using the same colors as I did on the first card, just to so that, you know, the whole thing is a bit cohesive, even though it's not the same die set, colors um, pull the whole thing together. So um, super simple, all of these cards, and probably you could even mass produce them because they are not, um, they, they don't take long to create. So on my, um, what is this called again? <laughs> Slimline card. I am creating a back, like a backdrop for my eggs, um, from a light peach color. And I kind of place the eggs in a slightly different way. I did not want to line them up perfectly. And then I will, at, you know, at the bottom of the card, I will just add the sentiment. And this is what comes from the, um, the, the egg wreath in, from the middle of that one. And I actually have space, uh, enough space to place that twice. So I'm just going to add um, the sentiment in a kind of like a, like a funky, crooked way, just so that it's fun, you know, not uh, all lined up and um, so precise. It's very forgiving if you do it this way. I think you don't have to worry about spacing and uh, anything like that. You can just eyeball it and then I didn't even um which is kind of weird for me because I normally like to layer up things I did not add extra layers to these letters and they, it, this is actually a very thin cardstock but uh, yeah thin letters are not easy <laughs> so I'm I think I uh, did not want to bother with that uh, that would take time to to you know to add some layers plus I don't know about you but I kind of I'm really not good at it uh, I'm not good at lining up or layering up thin letters somehow I always you can always see the second layer third layer I just don't manage to do it really well Although I'm not, it's, it's, that is actually true for everything, not just uh, thin letters. <laughs> I never managed to line them up properly. Anyway, so um, that card is done. And then I can move on to the third one, which uh, for which I'm going to use the same uh, sort of eggs. But then um, I'm just going to create a slightly... Well, since it's not the same format, the card, I'm just going to use six eggs this time and I will line them up uh, or differently. But the thing is, um, as much as I don't like to line things up like uh, perfectly, you know, these, these had to be straight because there was not enough space. As you can see, it's exactly the space that I had is it feels out completely the uh the height of the card um maybe I shouldn't have left that frame but I prefer the frame I could have covered the whole background with the peach cardstock and then I would have had more t uh, more space in between the the eggs but uh, it doesn't matter um, so the sentiment is from the layering Easter eggs, also new set, uh, just the blessings part. The Easter is from the happy Easter set, uh, from last year. And then I just mixed and matched the sentiments and, um, I kind of placed it in a, at an angle, these blessings. 
because otherwise it, it, there was too much space between the letters for for my eyes so this is the final product or the finished uh, project and um yeah so i have three cards here i hope i could uh give you some ideas with these sets i hope you like them um thank you very much for watching and i hope you check out the other videos as well on the channel today thank you again hope to see you next time bye bye